Today I'm going to talk to you about the four piston heavy hitter flywheel bolts for K-Series and the Diamond Claw crank lock. These engines are vibrating messes, okay? Look, four cylinder inline fours are. They have some harmonics, they vibrate. These in particular have very big stroke, small bore, and we're turning a lot of RPM. It's pretty average for streetcar guys to turn over 9,000 RPM. In some of our racing applications, especially drag racing, we're turning 11, 11.5, 12, 12,000 RPM. You got a lot of vibrations, a lot of harmonic issues going on. So the flywheel can start to vibrate, start to move around uh, if you don't have the proper fasteners on it. A lot of guys are doing this. Honda intended this engine to run at 7,000 RPM and we're gonna turn 11,500 RPM and use the same fastener. It doesn't work like that. So we have these bolts. ARP makes them for us. Uh, it's not a chromoly bolt like you'd see a regular flywheel. It's an ARP 2000 material, so better clamping load. You also got guys at home just kind of sticking old flywheel bolts that are torqued to yield on a couple of gadugas and calling it a day. It's not how these work. Uh, you're going to want to torque these 130 foot pounds and that's going to keep your flywheel on to this high RPM, high vibrating engine. In addition to that, this is our Diamond Claw crank lock. Diamond impregnated, it's got a surface coating on it, goes right on the crankshaft. It prevents fretting. It kind of, this kind of locks and engages the flywheel to the crank. So if you do start having a bolt start to back out or some issue, you shouldn't. If you do it properly, you should never have this come loose, but if you do, you've at least got this barrier in here that saves your crank. All you guys have seen where the flywheel starts to weld itself to the crank, that's because it's loose and sitting there vibrating and you screw a crank up, you just got a freshly built engine. I get messages all the time. Guys didn't put the right length flywheel bolts or they used the wrong ones or they bought some eBay ARP bolts for K-Series. They don't exist. They're the wrong length. You thread them in, you think it's tight. They just hit the bottom of the threads didn't clamp down on the, on the thing. So you start a brand new engine up, you just spent your life savings on, and all of a sudden you've got a screwed up crank and the engine gotta come apart because you've got all that friction welding. This is gonna prevent that. This gives you a barrier for some time. And these are used across the board. All the racers are using these now. This is a proven product for many years. It does really, really well, save you a lot of money. So it's cheap insurance. Make sure that this is on every engine build that you do. With our ARP 2000 material flywheel bolt, it's gonna save you a lot of pain and heartache. Both of these available at fourpiston.com. Everything's in stock, ships out right away.